Hey YouTube, this is Seth McDonald. I am back with another talk video of today, and um, I've been reading on BBC, BBC, um, the classical manual of combat book. I just got done with the fur the first part of it. Talks about like it goes into the real, you know, if you really like books that are based on martial art, um, forearms, and like the history of it, and like literally where you know, if you want to end up, you know, learning learning about martial arts, or if you want to learn, end up learning about you know the history of it, where where it was originally from. Um, the thing of it is, what I think about all styles of martial arts, um, all styles of martial arts are based out of Kung Fu. But most of, 9 out of 10, most of a lot of people end up discouraging with me on. And, which, you know, that's their opinion. But, you know, I, you know, I read out a lot of books. I look up a lot of things on hit on online. Um, everything traces back to kung fu, and so basically, you know, when it comes down to you know when you know if you're wondering where your style came from in martial arts, um, it came from kung fu basically, and no matter what style you study. It's a form of Kung Fu. And the thing of it is, you know, uh, like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's, yeah, it might be named Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and it came from the Gracie family. Well, their system originally came from, basically, back then, um, the Chinese uh, form of wrestling called dog boxing. And so basically, like, if, and then, like, if you want to go into, like, karate, like, stand up karate um, stuff, like, stand up fighting in karate, well, they went from, they, they went to white current. They studied white current techniques. Um, the movements of the crane. Um, that's how come karate people are so good at blocking and punching and stuff like that. And that's how come they utilize their techniques. Um, they utilize dog boxing and white crane kung fu into their, into their uh, ways of studying different styles, you know, methods, and then, then they turn around and call it um, whatever style they wanted to call it. And for instance, Bushi, Karate, uh, basically, um, they went, you know, they did White Crane. They studied the, the Okinawan Masters. They studied White Crane Kung Fu. Turned it into their own style of martial arts, and they turned around and added a few techniques of their own, and torqued it up a little bit, and said, "Okay, this is Japanese karate, and this is what I'm doing." Well, nine out of ten when they're doing martial arts. Um, Every style comes from Kung Fu, you know, every style of martial arts comes from Kung Fu, no matter what. <laughs> um, even meditation comes from Kung Fu. Um, even yoga comes from Kung, Kung Fu, because it came from the Shaolin Temple. It came from the mainland of China. And... You know, a lot of people will probably disrespect me on this or get mad at me over it. Oh, well. Um, I've done a lot of reading in 
books. I've done a lot of reading online. I've done a lot of research, and that's my conclusion. Uh, if you're wondering what you're studying, um, you're studying Kung Fu no matter what. And, um, because that, that is the birthplace of martial arts. Um, China is the birthplace of martial arts. Um, I don't care if you live in Japan, you're studying karate for so many years. Um, uh, your style came from China. Your style came from Fushan, the village in China. You know, from the white crane system. And so no matter what style you study in karate, it's still white crane. It's still based on the crane emphasis. Uh, but other than that, um, you're still studying in Kung Fu no matter what style you study. Um, because that's my opinion. That's my, that's my theory. That's what I come to the conclusion of. Because every book that I get will say, oh, it came from Kung Fu. It came from so-and-so. And then it was passed on to another guy. He redid it and called it something else. That's how the whole thing of names and styles um, came about. Was because it got passed down from one person to the next. And then they turned around and switched the name around. And then they make a name out of it. And then they, you know, get big in that name. Because, oh, it's a fancy name of a style or whatever. Uh, to me, you know, it's Kung Fu. And, yeah, it might be karate. It might be Taekwondo. It might be bossing. It might be Jiu-Jitsu, whatever. Um, wrestling. Um... To me, it all came from Kung Fu. How, how else would we be having these fighting systems? It's all because of Kung Fu. I'm sorry. You know, that's, that's what it comes to conclusion of. Um, that's my theory. That's my thing. And um, so like I said, you know, if you really want to get a good book to read, um... Get the BBC, the Classical Manual of Combat by Patrick McCarthy. Uh, very good book so far. I just made it to book no, part one. Like part one, basically the second chapter of the book. But the first, the first book, the first chapter of the book. Um, talks about the history of each style, the history on where the style came from, history of what um, area the style came from, what country it came from, and it all goes back to China. And it kept saying China, 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 and so. Um, I come to think of it, you know, the whole entire life, my whole entire life, all I've been doing is studying Kung Fu, just in a different way of form. Um, it might not be as fluid as Kung Fu, on how you see all the movies and stuff, how it's supposed to be, but that's just movies. Um, but 9 out of 10, you know, you, you know, if you see somebody doing something cool on a movie, you know, you ain't gonna be able to do that in real life, you know, that, and that's what people say, you know, oh, we, oh, that's high class martial arts, or that's, that's like more advanced martial arts, how they do it off the movies and everything else, and I'm like, no, I said, that's choreographer fighting, that's fake martial arts, that's choreographer fighting, and... They do it for show. They don't do it for real. That's, you know, that's the thing with movies. You know, movies confuse people when they do martial arts. You know, if I train, I'll be as good as those guys on TV. No. I'm like, the stuff you see on TV is fake. And so, you know, when you come to realize that when you get older... And everything, yeah, it might be fake, but we get entertainment out of the fake stuff. 
But I mean, we can go out and do it for real. Um, that's the thing. Um, but other than that, that's the topic of the day. And, um, like I said, you know, everything that you do, um, in some type of sport, um, not in the fighting, in the fighting sport, just think, it all came from Kung Fu, um, no matter what style of fighting you do, and that, that's my opinion, it came from Kung Fu, period, and, um, because books prove it, internet proves it, and basically, uh, a lot of other people starting to think that it came from Kung Fu, and that you are doing some sort of Kung Fu in your system, um, you just don't know it, and that's just what I have to say, and I'll talk to y'all later, and God bless, and on this beautiful Sunday, and... Y'all train hard, train smart, stay off your phone, stay off your s boss. Um, go out, stay in shape, and be yourself, be who you are, train hard, train hard, smart, but be safe about it, do your research, take care, but most of all, it's be yourself. Peace.